Hi guys, I'm Andy. Welcome back to Backpacking UK. Hiking, backpacking and wild camping your thing. Please hit that subscribe button because that's what this channel is all about. Right, today I'm going to help you choose the right size backpack. What I mean by that is help you choose the right size capacity backpacking bag. It is a bit of a minefield and it can get really technical, but I'm going to try and break it down as simply as I possibly can. Now, I think there's a certain way you should buy your backpack. Uh, there's two things in particular that I think you should try and buy, if possible, all in one go. Your backpack, your tent, and your sleeping bag. And I'll come to why I think that in a minute. But when you're choosing your backpacking bag, you really need to decide what sort of sort of traveling you're gonna do, what sort of camping you're gonna do, because it makes a big difference to the size of capacity. For instance, if you're the type of person that wants to camp all year, you're gonna to have to make sure you've got enough room in your backpacking bag for all that winter stuff. So like a four season tent tends to be bigger, four season sleeping bag tends to be bigger, everything tends to be bigger, a nice thick jacket for you to wear when you're camping as well. Also, if you're a dry weather person or a wet weather person, you've got to think you need to include your waterproofs in your backpack too. Waterproofs can be a little bit big and bulky sometimes as well. Um, there's also the distance you want to achieve. Are you those sort of people that just want to do like a mile or two to your wild camping spot? Or do you really want to go backpacking and cover some sort of serious distance? Are you looking at one day trips or multi day trips? Uh, the distance mainly covers how much food you need to take. So you need to allow capacity in your backpack for your food and also change your clothes too. Another thing which I think is really important when choosing a backpacking bag is how much weight you can realistically take. If you're not that fit or if you've got um, some sort of like injuries or niggles, you're not going to want to buy a 70 litre backpack, fill it so it weighs 17, 18 kilos and then not be able to actually carry your backpack. So think about those things too. But before we go any further, I would say is, if in doubt, go big. Uh, a general sort of rule for a backpack, I'd say 60, 65 litre backpack, it will at least cover every eventuality within reason. So what I've got today is three different backpacks of approximately sort of 65, 55 and 45. Um, and just tell you why it's not just the capacity of the backpack, for instance. So this is Osprey Exos. You can get it 38 litre, 48 litre and 58 litre. But the padding on the backpack doesn't change. It's just the capacity. So, for instance, this backpack with 38 litres and carrying that, it will carry that weight really, really well. It will be really comfy. 58 litres, fully loaded, you're going to lose some of that comfort. And that's when you might want to start going to a different type of backpack. With something like the Osprey Atmos, you could probably put up to 20 kilos in this backpack and still be reasonably comfy. If you stuck 10 kilos in it, it's totally over the top. You'd be much, much, much better with an Exos. Something like 12, 13 kilos, much better off with a backpack like this. So it's not just capacity, it's the type of backpack. Your sort of lighter weight backpacks tend to have less padding. Uh, your heavier weight backpacks tend to have a really good frame system, really good hip support, really good shoulder support and lots of features. So like I said, I think a backpack should be bought in conjunction with your tent and your sleeping bag and this is why. This is my four season sleeping bag and this is my summer sleeping bag. 
they take up a very different amount of room. I mean, these are fairly uncompressed, but the difference is enormous. When they're fully compressed, this is still quite a thin sleeping bag. However, this is still a really chunky sleeping bag. And what happens is, even though you put it in the sleeping bag compartment, can change how much of the main compartment you've actually got to play with. You're just not going to have a huge amount of room for anything else once your tent is in there. So be really, really mindful of that. This is one of the reasons why you need a bigger backpack for winter backpacking. And also, to be fair, this is also the reason why you can get away with even down to like a 40 litre backpack for summer because everything's smaller, tents are smaller and also your sleeping pad's smaller and your sleeping bag as well. Now the other reason why I said tents is because that's a big factor too. For instance, this is actually a one person backpacking tent, four season tent, but it's still quite a big tent. Uh, one thing you need to make sure when choosing your backpack is that it actually fits in there. This is probably nearly 50 centimetres in height. So again, if you're looking for a smaller backpack, you might not even get it in there. Um, you can take it out of its bag and store the poles and the actual tent separately. That's what some people do. At the end of the day, if your poles are 50 centimetres, you still need to make sure your backpack can carry poles that size. The next thing is, is one person tents are not necessarily smaller. For instance, this is my 3F UL Gear Lanshan 2 four season tent, it's a trekking pole tent. This tent is absolutely enormous and yet its pack size is tiny. It's just a fraction of the size. So one thing I will say is if you do love trekking pole tents, is you can get away with a much smaller backpack. But just be mindful of that. Single person tents are not necessarily smaller than two person tents. And some manufacturers have been very clever out there. This is your classic Van Gogh Banshee tent. It's a big tent, it's a, got a huge pack size. Again, you're not going to put this in a 40 litre backpack. You're not going to have any space for anything else if this goes in there. However, you've got companies like World Country, like Terra Nova, very good at making compact versions of their tents. This is World Country Helm 2, really popular tent again, just like the Banshee, but it's a compact version. Still weighs quite a lot, but the pack size is so much smaller and again, it makes a big difference what size backpack you can take with you when you go out world camping. So bear that in mind. If you want a smaller backpack, but you still want quite a nice big tent, have a look for some of these compact versions. But when you're looking for tents, don't just look at the overall weight and the overall size, look at the pack size too. So for an example, this is my Osprey Exos 48. I've just got my summer sleeping bag in here. I've got Van Gogh Banshee in here, my sleeping mat and a jet boil camping stove. And as you can see, it's pretty much up to its limit with just four items in here. So exactly the same gear in my Osprey Atmos 65. As you can see, I've got absolutely acres of space down here, absolutely loads, and still nowhere near the top as well. However, going back to the Osprey Exos 48, as soon as I put a trekking pole tent in there and the summer sleeping mat, I've got an enormous amount of storage space once again. So this is just to show you how important it is to match your backpack with your tent and with your sleeping bag too. So in summary, what I would do is I would highly recommend getting yourself out there to some of these shops, you know, places like Go Outdoors, which got loads and loads of stock. You can actually get the backpacks there. You can go get yourself a tent, 
go get yourself a sleeping bag, give it a go, make sure it all gets in that backpack. Everything else is relatively small. The only thing I would say is in winter, you've got to think about uh, taking extra clothing. If you go in for multiple days, you've got to think about the food that you go in to take. But if you can't carry the weight, don't get yourself a massive backpack with heavy gear. But hopefully this has been of some use to you. It is a minefield out there, it can get really complicated, but from my point of view, what I look at when I'm choosing a backpack, and I fully understand there's lots of you that are just gonna have one tent, one backpack, maybe even one sleeping bag as well. You've gotta make sure everything works in harmony. I'm lucky, I've got lots of gear, so I can change what backpack tent sleeping bag for the weather but if i was definitely just going to choose one backpack i think i'd definitely go big something like a 60 or 65 liter so anyway hope you've enjoyed this video check out my other videos and hope to see you backpacking soon cheers